Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. It is a beautiful morning on this eclipse eclipsier day. That's right. We're gonna have the eclipse today. And I'm getting in the mood, man. What is up, people? I have a good day planned for you. So I should have a good video up tonight on the Dogman channel. I hope it goes good. You know, I gotta go out there in a minute and build me a contraption to hold this lens that I gotta film through. And I hope the wind isn't too bad. It's supposed to be 15 mile an hour gusts. I don't know. But we'll see. But I'm gonna try to make a really good video now, my cameras do not have a zoom lens, but uh, where I am going to be filming it from should not need one. Uh, I'm going to have one camera on time lapse and the other one I'm just going to be doing, you know, shots here and there. Maybe checking out nature because, you know, we'll see what happens. I do know that Eclipse projects some pretty cool shadows on things. So maybe I'm going to leave the camera on the Eclipse on time lapse, come downstairs, go in the woods. Sometimes it hits the leaves, and it, I remember the last one. It was a trip. So, you like my background? Yeah. That's my home planet, Dogma, right? Dogma. Yeah, right back there. Yeah, me and my species have been trapped here for 147,000 years. And it hasn't been easy. Our home planet was destroyed by a more... Uh, it, it kills me to say this. A more intelligent species of cat they outnumbered us man they outnumbered us we got in our escape pods and we came to earth okay 147,000 years ago some of us remained in form in our true form which you know is the dog but others like me well we've soon realized after arriving on earth that we, we needed thumbs man so some of us took the form of the Homo sapien. That's right. A subpar species. But we needed thumbs. We needed to gather wood to stay warm. We needed to eat. We needed to hunt. There were creatures we had to hunt. You needed thumbs for. Do you think humans invented the bow and arrow? I think not. It was us. There's a lot of things you guys think you invented. But you didn't. You didn't invent the wheel. No, sir. You did not invent the telescope. No, you did not. We invented that so we could see if there's any survivors out there. The knowledge we could give you is beyond your comprehension because your small brains. I, 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 when I say small brains, I mean only a portion of it works. Do you think that's by accident? No. We only want a portion of your brain to work. So our scientists, years ago, figured out a way to keep you down. <laughs> I know. I'm blowing your minds right now. To keep you down. So that we can control you and we do control you. Now, many of you are cruel and mean to us. But we let that go because there's a good amount of you that, you know, do, do us good. You know? All we ask for, you know, in our, you, you think we have short years, but we don't. We come back and then get into another dog body. Many of our babies don't make it. They're given away, they're, uh, it's terrible, it's terrible. And until you humans can evolve and learn to coexist with us, well, it's just gonna continue the way it is and our inventions will get better and bigger to suppress you. Okay, enough of that. Oh, now you guys know the truth. Oh, so you know, I'm stuck doing YouTube, yeah. I had to go on, you know. Sometimes you can only keep a secret so many thousands of years and you gotta let it out. 
Rooster, I know. She's, and we do have the ability to communicate telepathically. Yes, you guys didn't make that up. We did. Us thumb, us thumb holders. I always mess with Rooster. <laughs> she gets real smart with me, and you know she's in a bad. I say, hey man, at least I got thumbs. She 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 wanders off in a huff. They all do. They hate that. Hey, you the they were the ones that chose that body to remain in their you know natural bodies. I I didn't have nothing to do with it. So. Stay tuned and watch on the Dogman channel tonight. I should have a pretty cool video. It's probably going to be something like I've never done. Or it's going to suck. You know, I never get hopes in that one big video that is going to happen because it usually don't happen. YouTube's a funny thing, man. You'll put up a video that you think is your best work. Oh, I'm going to get a million views. And guess what? You, you get the worst views you've ever got on a video. That always seems to work that way. I don't know why. And then you'll put up a video that totally sucks. That was just, uh, I've had videos where I just, hey man, it's 7 p.m. I need to, let's go out and walk around the yard and do a video and see what happens. Just to get something up there. Let people know I'm still kicking. And that video does good. My 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 pantry video the other day. That was one of them. Hey, let's go to the pantry and show some canned goods. And that thing's doing pretty well. Yeah, and Rooster. Yeah, her little video the other day. That's that's almost to eleven thousand views for a short. Hey man, it made eighteen cents in one day. Eighteen cents. Rooster's pulling in the income. What am I going to do if I didn't have Rooster? You know, she's the star of the show. Seven minutes. I got to keep track of the time. I got to get up there and... Uh, where is that filter? It's here. Man, I always want to show you. Here it is. But this filter I got is only this big. It's like four inches by four inches. And so what I'm going to do... And you're not supposed to touch it. But I'm going to build a little cedar frame with legs with some machine screws and nuts through it where I can tilt it any way I want. And then I've got my camera. Where is that dude at? It's dark in here. I can't see nothing. I've got my camera on this little gadget that I'll probably set on the rail up there. That's why I'm hoping it ain't windy. And then maybe put this at the same, this, this gadget I build's got to have, be able to, to go to the same angle. And I don't know exactly, I'm going to have to toy around with it. I don't know if it's got to go directly on the lens or a few, in, I would think so, directly on the lens. Now the, this DJI, these lenses, you can unscrew them, take them off. So I'm going to go out there early. Now you can take this with this filter supposedly and just film the raw sun. So maybe I'll do that and see what works best. Hit, you know, looks like I got a little steam in there. Or was that a thumbprint? I don't know. But I really, really, really like these DJIs. They are far superior to GoPros. Uh, the batteries last three times as long. Um, <coughs> I've not had any problems with them. I think I started using it uh, January, around you know, first of the year could be a yeah right around there but they are far superior than a GoPro so but they are a lot more expensive than a GoPro but uh, the sensor in the lens is a one inch sensor and the GoPro doesn't have anything close to that so you do get much better quality the camera that I use for these podcasts is the pocket it looks like the little men in black thing that was not good on a bicycle or on an e-bike. I had that on the e-bike. I haven't messed with the settings. I don't think I had the stabilization set on that. And I couldn't even use that footage. It was terrible. So I'll keep that in mind. It's better for things like this. And I will probably put this on a time lapse for the Eclipse as well. But this camera has a gimbal, which you know, I'm just now getting used to. So hope everybody has a safe day as far as the crowds go. I haven't seen any change. I haven't. They advertised that 
at the campgrounds across the street, I haven't seen anybody coming. So I, it's a big media hype. Uh, you know, businesses, they think maybe they can drum up some business. Who knows what it is, but it isn't. I knew, I mean, I've seen it in the recent years. I've seen this kind of hype before, and it never pans out the way they want. Um, you know, hey, if it drums up some revenue for the town, no problem. But uh, I'm not seeing it. And I'm not going to town. I got enough things in the house today. I don't need to go to town. I'll venture out tomorrow. All right, guys, you be sure to watch for tonight's video. I don't know when. I, the eclipse, I got to get the exact time. Tomorrow around 2-ish. So uh, it don't take me long to edit a video, but I'm going to probably spend more time. I've already started on it, actually. Uh, there will be an advertisement, but it'll be brief. And this is a little cool gizmo. And uh, I will. In, you'll see in the video where I project all this. And it's pretty, it's not expensive. It's a $60 machine. But it's cool. Yeah, you got to be a kid every now and then. It's got all kinds of settings and stuff on it. But I'm, this ain't the video, you know, that I'm advertising it in. So, all right. Well, hey, yesterday's video was kind of fun. A lot of good responses to that. Uh, what you'd do if you had a billion dollars, million dollars, whatever. We'd all pretty much do the same. At least that's what we say. Till our wallets get fat then who knows but you know what <laughs> it ain't gonna happen but hey if it happens to one one of you guys I remember old dog man okay yeah i could use a fence or something who knows thanks for watching guys we'll see you tonight if you're not subscribed to dog man go over there and check it out there's a link in the description a lot of craziness happens on that channel happy trails